Thunder, whatever. <laughs> Your name is? Kathy. Kathy. She's playing the part of the? Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle. Removed from the blocks in all the museums across the United States for today. <laughs> Molly? Molly is playing the part of? Mars. Ah, very good. Class, Mars. And? Kelly. Kelly is playing the part of the? Moon. Okay, good. The moon. So, the shuttle, Mars, and the moon, here's your job. You have to position yourself. We have shrunk our universe and our galaxy and our solar system down. We have created a model of our solar system, right, class? Does everyone understand what we mean when we say we're creating a model of something? Yeah. Right? We <laughs> <laughs> so we've reduced it by scale, right? And this is how I talk to the kids when I do this, all right? So their job, the three of them, is to position themselves in our, in our solar system model at the distance you think those objects live away from the Earth. Go. Go! Go! Okay. There you are. No help from anyone. No help from anyone. I don't care where you go. I just need you to go somewhere. Okay. Sorry. See, they keep moving us around in our orbit. <laughs> Are you where you want to be, Mars? Good job. Yes? How about you, Shuttle? Yes? Yeah, I'm good. Speak now or forever hold your... Oh, that's another lecture. <laughs> <laughs> My son just got ordained as a minister on the online. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> You're good? good? Okay, so now, Mr. Earth, I'm going to scrunch in here. And the way you do this is you get a piece of string, don't step on my string, and you get your Earth model, okay? And if you traveled in a Volkswagen Beetle, nine and a half, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh-oh, always pre-plan your exercise. Here, help me out there, will you? Okay, that should give us eight, nine, oh, pre-plan. Real-time modifications. We'll get close. It's actually supposed to be the right one. So it's just that I didn't wrap it around my little football, which is another demonstration. So. That's all right. I'm here whether I do anything or not. So. <laughs> okay, so that's about nine and a half. Okay, so if I got in a Volkswagen Beetle and I drove around the equator of the Earth nine and one half times, that would be the distance from the Earth to the shuttle, Moon, or Mars. Moon. Moon. Okay, take that, my friend. You go find the Moon. I was gonna say. I'm farther away. It's like uh, we're sagging a little bit. Yeah. No, I was talking about your britches, not. <laughs> So, did she do it? Head outside, yeah. girl. Stretch it out. Now you have to tell the children, no touching the string. I mean, you can to help it, but kids will pick it up and they'll jerk on it and all that stuff. So, pull it tight, and Miss Moon, go follow him. Quick, close the door. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys can see your way out there in Moonland? Okay? So, now, before we pick on you, we're going to pick on her first. So, how do you feel about your decision? Oh, no. <laughs> Those agree that she's moving farther away? No, no, no. Wrong. <laughs> so your answer is the thickness of this string laid against the globe is the height of the shuttle or the station over the earth. But only the thickness of the string. Right? In our scale model of our solar system. Now we go to Mars. <laughs> well, is your car here? <laughs> your car is here? No, oh, then just stay where you are because you got to go about 1,600 wraps away from here to get to the distance margins. Okay? So it's a whole lesson in what? Scale and perspective. Right? Because how many of the kids in your classes, high school included, mm -hmm. understand the perspective of what our solar system deals with every day, right? They think the space station is right up there and you can reach up and touch it and fly to it in five minutes. They think Mars is just around the corner. They think the moon is so close you can see it. I mean, holy cow, it's got to be close, right? I mean, I can see the Galleria from Houston on the freeway. I, I mean, it can't be much further. Right? <laughs> okay? So give these guys a big round of applause.